Wallahi, I know of non-Muslims who only consume halal because they found out what it is. Now, just to clear a few misconceptions. Halal is in no ways meat or food that hocus pocus has been chanted upon. No. When I say that, I've come across people who have said that, how can you eat this halal food? You know, these Muslims, they just say, habra kadabra. And next thing you eat the meat and you just love Muslims. If that was the case, I think the world would all be perhaps lovers of Islam and Muslims because the meat out there, a lot of it is halal. Halal is merely, you know, when something is certified halal, all that that logo is saying is that this meat has been processed in the most humane way with the blood being drained. The animal was kept properly. It was fed well and the blood was drained in a specific way. And subhanallah, just like the Jews and the Christians, these Semitic religions teach during the taking away of the life, the permission of the giver of that life was sought by way of mentioning his name. Bas. That's all. Bismillah. Why am I saying Bismillah? Because what gives me the, the right to take away the life of a cow? I didn't give that life in the first place. I am, I am entitled to life just like the cow is entitled to life. And just like the other things are entitled to life. So I need to use the method that the giver of the life has actually ordained and that is you want my permission firstly don't hack it don't kill it do it in a humane way and ask the name of Allah the giver of the life Allah or as we were to say in the case of the Jewish and the Christian people it would be the same they would say in the name of God and slaughter it in the name of Allah slaughter it in the name of the giver of the life slaughter it all this would render it halal the blood is spilt the clean animal and so on you know one day I was sitting with a group of people and they were telling me, these were non-Muslims, and they were telling me about how barbaric halal is. You know, you guys actually cut it with a knife? I said, well then, how do you want to cut it? And the guy just looked at me. God, I never thought of that. <laughs> there you are. Peep, we just follow the trend. Halal is barbaric. Halal is this. They actually spill the blood of the animal. Well, maybe your burgers are made of what? Paper? Plastic? What else? Subhanallah, to be honest with you, your burgers are perhaps clubbed to death and you know the animal must have been cursing you before and now you're busy, yum. At least with us, it was the name of the giver of the life was taken and therefore we've taken that with utmost humanity and, and you know, with a lot of respect and with acknowledgement to the giver of that life and at the same time, we make sure that one animal does not see the other one die. That's the proper way of doing things. Do you know that? The proper way, you don't even show the knife. You actually, you, you make sure that you know what, this is done. Not everyone's a butcher. But ask the butcher, he will tell you. And a butcher is not a barbaric person, you know. There was a certain girl who told me, I've got a proposal, but I'm fearing. I said, why? The man's a butcher. Oh, wow. And I thought to myself, well, what does he butcher? Does he, does he not, is he just meat or is he anything else, you know? Because that, otherwise all the women, subhanAllah, use knives in the kitchen. Does that make you a terrorist? Well, no, it doesn't. You're busy, you know, slicing beautiful pieces of chicken. But a while ago, if you looked at that chicken going back, 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 back in your face, you probably wouldn't even want to cut that chicken anymore. Subhanallah. But that's Allah. That's Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. You cut it humanely in the name of Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. And what happens? You will enjoy the meal by the will of Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. But those who don't want rules, they eat anything that moves. Have you come across that? I think in Hong Kong it's known. In Hong Kong, it's known. Anything that moves is eaten. Recently, there was a clip doing its rounds regarding halal food. And there was some television station in the States. I actually have that clip on my phone. It was sent to me a few days ago. Where there was a certain woman, one of the famous women of, of the globe, I don't remember her name. And she said, we must all boycott halal for this Thanksgiving. Because the turkey that is being served is actually, it has a halal logo on it. So... MashaAllah. Do you know what the host did? The host of the show? He actually said, well, if you want non-halal turkey, then you need a dirty turkey that has been bashed, you know, clubbed to death, and that has been smeared in defecation and so on, and that is really turkey that was fed in with the most dirtiest of fodder and so on, and have that for Thanksgiving, because that's non-halal. But if you know what halal is, and this is a non-Muslim talking, if you know what halal is, you would actually know that what you've said is wrong. Totally wrong. Amazing. 
May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us regarding halal. 